All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, and we have another free update raid. This time around, we're going up against Gamma 1, and the mission itself is called Red and Ready Superhero. This started on the 18th of January, and it's going to end on the 24th of January. So, in a couple more days at the time of recording this video, the basic rewards, y'all already know, we get the CC mascots, different illustration art pieces and even the custom unlock keys speaking of the custom characters name the next five custom keys you guys would like to see for dlc 17 now of course it's not confirmed that we're going to be getting any more but i believe it's been a while ever since the last couple custom key characters i think no oh, broly was an older one hey yo that's a pretty cool color scheme i have to quickly pick my character just because we do have the raid build I think it would be cool if we can get a custom blue coup. Who else? Who else? Yeah, everybody, man. Just Let's just get custom variations for every single character. Why not? <laughs> if they provide enough DLCs, that definitely could be possible. But we do have the actual raid rewards over here. So if we deal 5,000 damage, we'll get 50 time patrol medals and the nickname more. If we deal 15,000 damage, 30,000 damage, and 50,000 damage, we'll get additional 50 time patrol medals and Pan's complete outfit. So for the 30,000 mark, we actually get an illustration art piece, 355. And I think that's the one uh, with Yajirobe and Corin on the screen with a blue background. I'll be sure to have it up on screen. Yeah, since this is a normal... Wait, it, does he have the super villainous transformation as well? I'm pretty sure. It's a very cool concept just because y'all already know both Gammas are all about being good guys and superheroes. But then they, they can even still get corrupt by the super villainous energy. That's how strong Mira and Tora are, I guess you could say. Uh, as for my skill set, y'all already know. I This is like my go-to raid builds. I have Frieza, Super Soul, and we just start spamming... Bomber DX and or Bending Kamehameha Super Guard just because once Gamma 1 gets uh, Super Armor and if he goes after me I can just use Super Guard and then my teammates can still do damage while he's being distracted. That's the plan. I think the Kamehameha Super Soul might be a bit better for Bending Kamehameha right because I believe the Super Soul I don't know what's the correct name for it but it enhances every single Kamehameha Blast, even the ultimate attacks. And I think there's like a stack increase to it as well. Not entirely sure. I think the Super Soul is called, this is a real Kamehameha. But moving forward for the different raid rewards, the 50,000 damage mark, we get a Super Soul and it's from Krillin. It's called, look, I'm glad I'm here. Now, I don't think that's the correct name for the Super Soul because I don't recognize it at all. Um, usually, these are just rough translations. And I think it's an old one. I don't, it's not a new one. And last but not least, if we deal 100,000 damage, we'll get the Avenger title and 50 extra Time Patrol medals. Now, some of you guys have been commenting down below. Do we have to accumulate 100,000 points in one match no it's a consecutive series so you can just participate in many different battles it doesn't have to be in one match uh, you can gather all 100,000 points in 10 matches because not every single round you're going to be getting a bunch of points right and some of you guys have been wondering how many points do we get after each match well i can show you where to check all of that basically go over to the canton city the main area uh, there's a leaderboard over there, and then you can check how many points you accumulated after each match. Oh yeah, and of course, if you get 100,000 points, you'll get every single reward. <laughs> you won't just get the uh, reward from the 100,000 damage mark, right? Just some questions some of y'all had. Wait, so Gamma 1 doesn't have a transformation? Oh, alright. I thought he transforms into the super villainous form, but I guess not. He's pure! He stays a good guy! <laughs> I really thought he gets a transformation just because this is a normal raid. 
Interesting, interesting. So no super armor, nothing along those lines. Pretty easy. This is literally just an ultimate attack mission. <laughs> just spam all the deadly supers and ultimates. Usually, I, I believe for the raid quests, um, it's something similar to this, except they use all of the different super villainous super attacks, like gigantic key blast, the razor strike move that they have. Uh, but for the non-light raid quest, like this one right here, it seems like they just don't have any of that and no super armor. So it's these normal raid quests are actually easier than the light raid quests. What? Oh, I didn't even place top three. All right, comment down below what's the best raid build because it seems like this one is a bit outdated. And we just unlock customization, unlock key 18. Pretty dang cool. Wait, who's that? Yeah, let's see who's that specific character. Apparently, I haven't unlocked all of them just yet. But real quick, let's fly over to Canton City. Show you guys where to check the raid points. Of course, this is just easier to track. Uh, just to let you know where you're actually sitting at. In the leaderboards, if you want to get a specific item. Or, you know, just stop after a certain amount of points. Then this is how you do all of that. So right here, this is the spot. It's called the News Board. And then you want to go down to the raid rankings. First place already with, what is that? Three million points? Pretty insane. But here's my score after the first match. Uh, I think it said 2,000. But it's a bit different. It doesn't necessarily correlate to the actual damage dealt. See, I just dealt 8,500 in my first round, which means I'll get all the different rewards from the 5,000 damage dealt, which is the title more and 50 time patrol medals. Nothing too interesting, but I do need to do this quest about five more times to get 50,000 damage and to get all the different rewards. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And since we're going up against Gamma 1, I think it'll be cool just to get this cannon showdown in. Look at this, we have a custom Majin Android 21 transformation. I feel like having a character pack from other Dragon Ball games would be cool. Shall it from Legends? Majin Andrew 21 from Fighters. Of course, we already have the Lab Coat variation, but her transformation would be cool as well. Or they could just create a different preset with the Awoken skill, not necessarily add a different character. I mean, it works the same way for me. I don't really care. But comment down below what you guys think about that. I also think they should have added Gohan's Super Saiyan transformation. Wait, no, we do have that, do we? No, it's just Potential Unleashed. I'm thinking of the modded variation of this character. <laughs> with both transformations. <laughs> Why did it not include that? I have no idea. It would have been cool if we got the animation. I mean, to be fair, we still have the animation, but for Potential Unleashed. <laughs> Pretty dang epic, if you ask me. We dodge all those, Gamma 1, so... DBS, Potential Unleashed, Gohan is probably around the same strength as Gamma 1. Because I do remember after Gohan transformed, it was still a bit even. Or Potential Unleashed Gohan might be a bit stronger. But Gamma 1 is definitely stronger than his base and Super Saiyan form. For sure. No contest. Hey, we have Beast Gohan. Nope, that's just a custom character. <laughs> oh, Super Dragon Flight. Ow. I really do think it's cool how we got variations or, you know, updated presets of the original supers. Like the Ultimate Super Dragon Flight. Um... What else? What else? Oh yeah, this one right here, the charge move from Videl. Just, I guess, Gohan decided to change it a little bit. Add his own unique style to it, if you will. And Burst Rush. I think that's the exact same. What's the other one? Masenko? Oh yeah, I think... No, Masenko is the same. I think it's just the charge and Super Dragon Flight that got different changes to them. Oh, and Super Kamehameha, we have the instant transmission variation. Well, it's not necessarily as a transmission. It's just that if the opponent t attacks you while you use it, you'll snap vanish, get out the way. And I think they get stuck in a stun animation, so they can't really do much from that. I'm not even spamming supers. <laughs> I'm just going in with the combat skills. Martial arts plays over here. Let's get it. Yo, that was literally so perfect. <laughs> we got the snap vanish and the Kamehameha landed. I really do like his charge attack right there where he does the backflip. Look at that. 
the style points, man. I think we need to get DBS Gohan's base hair wig for custom characters as well as his potential unleashed hair. I think that'd be cool. Because, you know, my custom character, I have the original Gohan hair. I think it's about that time for an upgrade. It's definitely such a shame how Gamma 1 can't transform. I thought, wasn't there a raid quest where he does activate the super villainous mode? Or that's probably a parallel quest that I'm thinking of. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we missed. We missed. No. Wait. Oh. Next week is going to be extremely epic for Dragon Ball fans. We have Dragon Ball Battle Hour 2024. It's been confirmed. DBZ Kakarot DLC info, as well as Sparking Zero info. They actually confirmed yesterday that we're going to be getting a brand new trailer, and it's going to be premiering here on YouTube. Stay tuned to the channel because... Ow, I just went down again. Uh, I'm going to be uploading the trailer as soon as possible with my reaction. It's going to be epic. I really want them to confirm Dragon Ball characters, you know, from the OG series, as well as characters from Dragon Ball GT, because Z and Super characters are confirmed. I feel like it's going to be based mainly on Z and Super. I mean, that's just a random speculation prediction. I mean, the first trailer that we got, not the teaser trailer, like the first official trailer, it was pretty much based off of the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Goku with the correct and accurate Gi, Vegeta over there as well. They both transformed into Super Saiyan Blue, both animations directly from the movie, at least Blue Goku's was. And Frieza was also a part of the movie, also in the trailer. Um, who else? It was DBS Broly himself, right? It was literally like a DBS Broly DLC movie pack. <laughs> and then of course, closer to the end, we got all, all, all of the random Variation characters with Jiren, DBS Trunks, you know, just showcasing more of Z characters with Android 18, Super Armor Trunks, stuff like that. But for DLC Trailer 2, or DLC, for Sparking Zero Trailer 2, yeah, confirmation of GT and OG Dragon Ball characters would be great. Storyline info, more gameplay, like actual gameplay like we're watching right now with the HUD, you know, like the health bar, stamina bar, you know, just to break all that down to see what we're going to be getting. And I placed last. Pretty awesome. <laughs> this is it for today's video. We got the free update. Ooh, we got a brand new illustration art piece as well. But make sure to accumulate 50,000 points to get all the different rewards. Uh, no, you don't have to get 50,000 points in one match. You can take your time. You can get all points in like 50 matches if you really wanted to. And to also check your progress, you go over to the news board in Canton City. This is it for today's video. Thank you guys for the immense support. I always appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!